Hello, hey there. Been seeing a few uh, holster reviews on the uh, channel to subscribe to. So I'm going to give a bit of a shout out. Revolting Man, C said Fangirl, and Daniel, God is my judge. So I thought I'd stick mine in. Now what I have is a bit of retro kit from quite some time ago. So let's have a look. This is my 1958 pattern. Pistol holster, made of canvas, and I think this one's from the 1980s. I've actually had to wash this a few times, so the uh, dates come out. All right, let's have a look at the features. Nice little strap there, so you can put it to your leg. Safety lock. And all coverage. Now with this holster, I know you're going to lose the uh, quick draw. But the benefits with having a holster like this is, it's a bit hard to take off you. It actually has a double lock feature, which I'll show you in a minute. And it also keeps the dirt, the dust and the sweat off your firearm. I was actually listening to a couple of guys in a live stream uh, some time ago. And they were talking about working outside in the dirt and the dust all day. And they've actually found corrosion on their gun because sweat was dripping onto it. With this, it's not going to stop it, but it will cut it down quite drastically. So let's have another look at this. As you can see, it just comes out like that. This falls away. Let's double check, there is no magazine in there. This is an ASG, by the way, and not the real thing. Where's this? I was shooting six mil yesterday. And that's what this is. Yeah. That's mine, it's excellent. Anyway, I'm going to showing that off and back on to what we're talking about. And when I said it has a double safety feature, a lot of people will try and tell you that that's for a spare magazine. A spare magazine will not fit in that gap. This gap, this gap here, you see the sew line? This gap here is for an oil bottle and a piece of cloth. This here, hang on, there we go. This here is for your cleaning rod. Now this double safety feature here, you see you can actually put this through the trigger guard of your gun, which gives it a double lock, and that makes it really hard to take off you. This is actually, that's really meant for really close urban areas where your enemy may be wearing a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt they're not going to get hold of that in a hurry and what I use to keep this waterproofed is a bit of that and does the job fantastic Let me just show you how this actually goes on to your kit. And you see you feed this through. I need to get a better stand. go sweet all right you've got a loop there so you can put it straight through a belt we've got these c clips which go into the holes 
in the back of the 58 pattern belt there. You just bend them in. And it stays pretty tight. This is the old style webbing. We're now actually issued with PLCE. Well, the British Army are now issued with PLCE. Personal load carrying equipment. They actually did try to copy this holster in a PLCE, but it didn't actually work. So they had to change the holster design. This works better than the actual core drawer. Cracking good holster. And like I said, this is actually designed for the Browning High Power GP35, but as you can see, it'll hold quite a number of different type of pistols. This isn't actually classed as collectible yet, so you can actually pick these up on eBay uh, for about 25 to 30 pounds. You can actually get these with a belt and the lanyard for about 40 quid. Oh yeah, nice little drain hole there as well. And I've had this for quite some time, it's never let me down. I've always been able to get it out in time. It's, it's designed for someone who's actually carrying a rifle, as I'm sure you're aware. Let's get another full shot of that. Great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Take care.